In this video, I am gonna show you how to install Windows 11 with an unsupported CPU. My name is Shahroz and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Microsoft caused confusion that Windows 11 can't be installed if you do not have support for TPM 2.0. The reasoning being, it will improve the overall security of its latest operating system. However, we will upgrade to Windows 11 without having TPM 2.0 support. Yet, you will need to make sure you have TPM 1.2 turned on in your BIOS. The easiest way of checking that is to hit Windows plus R key and type tpm.msc. The version of TPM you have will be shown in the bottom right corner. Now if you have the restriction of TPM 1.2 as well, you can get around this restriction with a simple windows registry change. A simple registry hack is all that stands between you and its latest OS. The fix is really simple. Simply hit windows plus R key and type regedit R E G E D I T to open up the registry editor. Now go to the H key local machine. System, Setup, MO Setup. And in here, right click in the main panel and create a new dver 32 bit value with the name of Allow Upgrades with Unsupported TPM or CPU. And lastly, set its value to 1. With this simple tweak, you can now simply download the ISO file of Windows 11, make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive and start installing it. To make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive, we first need a USB drive having at least 8 GB storage capacity, Windows 11 ISO file and an application for making bootable USBs like Rufus. First, download the Rufus from its official website. You can find its link in the description as well. So simply download the latest version and it will be downloaded in a matter of seconds. Next, we need to have an ISO file of Windows 11. For downloading that, simply go to the download page of Windows 11 on the official website of Microsoft. You can find the link in the description as well for downloading the ISO file. Now on this page, select Windows 11 from the drop down and click on the download button. Next, select the product language, English would be fine and click on confirm button. Lastly, click on 64 bit download and Windows will start to download. Now once you have both Rufus application and Windows ISO file, plug in the USB drive and open up the Rufus application. Now in the Rufus application, first you have to select the right USB device to which you want to make bootable and then select the ISO file of Windows 11 by clicking on the select button and choosing the ISO file from the file explorer. Once the ISO is selected and everything is in order, simply start the process by clicking on the start button. It will take a couple of minutes, so let me just fast forward it. Now, in order to boot from USB drive, you first have to disable the secure boot option from the BIOS of your system. After making the bootable USB drive, restart your system and boot from the USB drive. The installation of Windows 11 will start. And during the installation process, simply select your language, time format, and click on the Install Now button. Accept the Microsoft license terms. And here in the type of installation, if you just want to upgrade the version of Windows already running, then select the upgrade. Otherwise, select custom type if you want to completely format the drive, create, and set the partition and install new windows. Now I'm just gonna delete all the previous partitions and create a new partition for Windows 11. Once it's done, make sure you have selected the primary partition and click on the next button to start the installation process of Windows 11. It will take a few moments to copy and install files. So let me just fast forward it as well. Alright, after copying files, the computer will restart and ask for a few configurations in Windows setup like setting up your country region, keyboard layout, 
signing up, setting up the password, etc. And after all this, the computer will again restart and within a few minutes, you will have the fresh welcome screen of Windows 11. And to verify, you can simply go to the properties of this PC and verify the latest version of Windows 11 installed on your system. So that's it for this video. I hope now you can enjoy Windows 11 on your unsupported CPUs. Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more informative content just like this. Thank you.